All right, guys, welcome back to the show. My name is Gino J, and this is Dropping Gems, another really good episode for you. And I got my man here. I'm going to let him introduce himself, and then we're going to walk through this house so he can show you what he doing to it. Go ahead, brother. Definitely. I'm Damien Ace, Damien Ace Hibbert. I've uh, been in the business about three, four years now. Uh, another Florida boy as well. Glad to be here, and I appreciate y'all coming through. So my first question to you is, um, how did you how did you get into real estate? Man, praying. I was praying, and I'm actually a teacher. You know what I mean? And um, I had a new teammate come to come to town, uh, 2016. And the first day of school, we were talking about. I, I was telling him I wanted to be a realtor. And he was like, "You don't have to be a realtor. You can be a real estate investor." I'm like, "Well, how?" And he told me about wholesaling. And once I learned about wholesaling, I jumped right into the game. So I did about probably about five or six wholesale deals. Just jumped right into straight into flipping. Well, we started out as realtors. That was our path. Everybody's path is different. You don't have to be a realtor. Yeah. You can take that wholesale <laughs> path, like my man's here did, yeah. and he did some deals and then kind of got into the flipping. Um, it's a lot of you guys out there now who are doing wholesaling. Everybody's first deal is different. Yeah. Tell me about your first wholesale deal. First wholesale deal was the craziest, man. It was the craziest. Um, but I had a partner, of course, I had a JV with a guy by the name of Sion John. And um, he helped. I found a deal. Um, found a deal by uh, marketing, doing uh, direct mail. I got a call back finally after about four or five months of just doing straight direct mail. Finally got a call back. And um, we went through the process. Uh, and we locked it up at about 130. So I think we all we both made like 20K a piece on the first deal. Well, cool, cool. That was, a, that was a successful deal, man. I think like most of the people that we talked to, Everybody's first deal is always three, four, five, six months. It's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. And sometimes, man, you just have to stay that course to get through to. it. You have to. Because once you get through it, it, have to. it gives you that confidence and the other deals kind of fall in place. Yeah, most definitely. So let's talk a little bit about your first rehab. Yeah. Let's let's tell us um what was what was the biggest challenge doing your first renovation? Uh well actually. It wasn't a big challenge because um, I, I hired a project manager at first. Um, and that really, he, he kind of gave me the, the whole outline on how to flip, how to start to start from the beginning. So the biggest thing I had to learn how to do was how to manage him, how to manage him and how to manage his, his guys that are working and manage my budget as well. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So guys, anytime that you're doing flips in real estate in general and you don't have that knowledge, seek relationships. Uh, seek partnerships and seek advice. Um, you can definitely go, go to a lot of different RIAs, a lot of different meetups and meet some people, but lean on somebody else's experience so that you don't have to make that mistake that they've made. Yeah. We were here in the West End on this house here. Tell us a little bit about this house. What was it like before and what are your plans for it? Gotcha. So originally this house was a 4-1. Um, had a family living in it, so the good thing is it, it wasn't I had some electricity, I had some water, so I didn't have to worry about uh, too much of the nonsense. But of course, I had to replace everything inside. Um, but we, it's a full gut. Um, the budget is 100K, so I know I'm probably gonna be over a little bit. Um, but the biggest, the biggest headache has been just, like I said, the price of lumber. Yeah. Uh, because I had to replace a lot inside. I had to replace the side, all of the siding. Um, and the subfloors, because I thought those were good, but that was jacked up too. So I had to get in and replace all of that. Well, cool. We're going to take a look inside and let's just walk through the floor plan. So our family room, we have the open floor concept, of course. Uh, so when we originally came in here, as you can see right here, there was a uh, fireplace fire right here. And we had to knock this down. This right here ran my budget up too, because my guys, they charged me like another 2K just to knock this thing down. So. There was a, a wall somewhere right in here. So we had to knock all of that down to give it this open floor concept so that you can see everything from the front to the back. So that was a, 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 a plus that we had to do because it's yeah. always not good to, uh, your, 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 if your floor concepts are not good, it's, it's hard to sell. Exactly. It's hard to sell. Exactly. Yeah. We teach that guys all the time. Yeah. Functionality and flow is very important. That's the word. These houses these days, man, everybody wants that openness. So when you walk into the house, you get that wow factor. And what Ace did here, he just he killed it. So when you walk in, you're going to have that wow factor. Yeah. So here is 
our bathroom. This will be the uh, hallway bathroom to be shared between these two rooms right here. And we're gonna squeeze a 36 inch vanity in here. And this is another room, one of the rooms here. Uh, this, this is pretty, pretty much the same floor plan that this room was. We didn't have to do much here. Only problem that I had was the floor was sinking in a little bit. So we, my guys had to get underneath and kind of level that out a little bit. Cause that's something I just can't stand when I walk in someone else's renovation and you walking out and you feeling that little dip. Yeah. Like you can't do that, man. You gotta fix that. You gotta fix that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So up here, we got a nice open floor plan with two bedrooms and a bathroom. Let's take us to that master, man, and see what that master looking like. Gotcha, gotcha, let's go. So here we have our master bath, master bedroom um, with the walk-in closet. So we actually was able to squeeze in two closets. So one will be a his and a hers. Both of them are the same size. And then when we come over to this side, which should probably be the happiest place of the house is this master bathroom. Walk-in shower. We're gonna put a 60-inch uh, vanity right here. And then we're gonna put a standalone tub right over in the corner as well. So you already got your tile selections in mind for this one? Yes, yes, that tile is right over there. Okay, yes. now do you design or do you use the designers to design? I, I do design. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So most, most of my, um, I've been using this pretty much the same concept with the tile, yeah. tile work. Yeah, once, you, once you've done a few, yeah. you, you, you just ride that wave, man, yeah. not try to overthink it and reinvent yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I was terrible when I first started picking out tile. Oh, yeah. So I actually had to hire a couple designers and once they gave me some ideas, then I just kept using their ideas. Yeah. But once that design gets played out or I don't use it too many times, yeah. then I hire another designer. Yeah. But that same concept, I'm gonna use it on five or six houses, yeah. seven houses again. Yeah, most definitely. Yep. And that's, that, that just came from me just getting a lot of feedback from, from my friends, um, just telling me that they really enjoy the tile. And, and of course the buyers that um, have come around to look at the property, you know, I just get a lot of good compliments about it. So I just figured out if it's not broken, keep rolling with it. Absolutely. Well, man, we appreciate you having us out. Guys, we appreciate you joining us. This is only part one. Stay tuned. When the house is finished, yeah. we're going to come back for a part two. I'm Gino J and I'm a real estate guru. And I'm here with my man, Damien Ace, another real estate guru. Do rule, do rule. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was dope.